you, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise you that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise you that we're gonna have some fun, so if you guys are cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First game of today's episode is called They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. I don't know who's here, but I know my man bun's here for a limited time only because, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to do with my hair. So we put the bunny back on, and it said, Unexplained phenomena occurred at Greywood Farms. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Clap it up for your boy one time. I deserve an Academy Award for that thing. But my task is to talk to farmer Peter Sherman. Who? All right, I'm going to talk to him so hard and so good. Is that the thing? Sherman's house. Wow. Right there. Bing, bam, in your face. Hey, what's up? Three balls in the sky. Press left mouse button to take a photo. All right, you got it. Photo. This is a great material for a news report. Yeah, it's all right. It's not that bad. It's not like nobody ever seen three balls before. I mean, I have three balls. That ain't nothing special. But yeah, we're at Sherman's house. If it wasn't clear before, it is now. But I will tell you all something. I will tell you all something real quick. I have actually seen lights like that in the sky. I was walking one time, and... Corn usually doesn't do that. Corn usually doesn't make noise like that. But yeah, um, I saw lights like that in the sky one time. I was walking at night. And the farmer said, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in the case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. All right, Peter. You sure about that? You Sherman about that? The phone. It's not working. Oh, shit. The valve. It's not turning. What the hell was that about? Oh, I accidentally clicked on the door. Okay, okay. Old newspaper. Yeah, it sure is old. I still wipe my ass with it. This old newspaper has info about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Not long enough. Oh, at least the dad came back with the milk. So we're just going inside this dude's house. I guess if you're a journalist, you could just do that. This rug looked like it's comfortable, low key. But this child's drawing is making me uncomfortable. Where's that noise? Okay, I guess that ambience just kicked in. It looks like the drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The leaf is painted on both sides. All three of them ugly as shit. All three of them, you heard me. Nobody's safe. Not a dog, not a kid, not an alien. Everybody's getting roasted. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I first came in, she wasn't in her bed. And the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, my saliva went in my throat. Walkie talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Let me see. Oh. What is it? What? 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 Property of Megan. It's mine now. It's doing that shit. Why does this sound creepy? Oh shit. It's actually getting a little scary. My nipples are getting kind of hard. That's when I know the fear factor is going way up. Because my nips get hard. Wait, what? Holy crap. Okay, the door wasn't opening at first, and then all of a sudden it just opens? Open sesame head ass. What's this? Bro, cheating on her exams. Looking at somebody else's paper. Keep your mind in your own business. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Bro, watching... <laughs> watching those adult alien films you did is it? Farmer's note. I learned a lot about these things. They are called the greys. They are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. Large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long thin limbs, and sharp claws. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then, people start to have nosebleed, have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. 
Next, people start to have memory lapses. Periods when they don't remember anything. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body. Incisions to be exact. During palpation, it felt like something thick. Whoa, 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 what felt thick? <laughs> I, I gotta figure it out. I'm a journalist. I gotta uncover and get all the facts. Like a foreign object moving under the skin. Oh, man. This is actually kind of creepy. And what was he watching over here before he went outside? What website is this? I'm about to check it out later. You know what I say? Do a little thorough inspection, you feel me? All right, but anyway. Let's see. Outside looks kind of sus. Looks kind of sussy pants. Printed photo. Photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. It does. Wait, he actually took these photos? Bro. What? Photo from the internet? Okay. So it all says the same caption. Oh, look at this sleepy ass. Sleepy ass alien. Are you shitting me? Oh, that's actually scary. Bro, if I saw this in a dark alleyway, you're getting the one-two piece. One-two piece, no drink. Photo from the internet. Okay, same thing. Oh, God, look at this guy. <laughs> Bro, he was smoking that outer space cushion. You know what I'm saying? Got that suck the soul out of me face. Farmer's Children's Diary. Sticker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary ticks. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around from very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. Felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they were communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing. And I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts in my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. I'm scared to sleep. I'm scared to read, baby. Oh, wait. Why is the door closed? It wasn't closed before, but it is now. Aw, oh, shit. I'm about to meet the same fate as the farmer. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit, aliens! Bro, my butthole's not ready for this! I should stay strapped and stay tight! Oh, God. Whoa! I'm sorry. Flashlight! I got a complimentary horror game flashlight! Oh, God. I'm fucked. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh, this is creepy as hell. What? Do speaking alienese? I heard that. Oh no. The farmer mentioned that the alien was thick too. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the street meat. Aliens? Yo, aliens. Wait, that chair wasn't knocked over before. They always ask, where are the aliens? They never ask, how are the aliens? So I'm gonna switch it up. How are you, aliens? Are we good? Are we all gooch? Okay, come on. Wait. Oh my god. Why am I so freaked out? Holy shit, my nipples are hard. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh, there's a note on the window. Let's read it. Farmer's note. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor a dozen of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. And recently, strange unpleasant tingling sensations in the back of my head have started as well. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Aliens! I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then, behind the ear, were a trace of them. I'm sure they've been planting something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. You're not. Oh! What? Wait, why did it make me focus on this? What is that? A little jar with a strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he was cut out an alien implant from behind his ear. Whoa! 
Oh, that's weird. Okay. So, that's what we needed to do. I forgot we needed to gather evidence that aliens exist, right? For the journal. Because we're journalists. Let's play this. Play that alien sex tape. I guess we just gotta watch this whole movie. Alright. I'm going to stretch because I'm very terrified right now. How did they get these angles, though? Ooh, that's legit on my titties. Where you going? I would not get out the car. I would scar! I would go reverse. Go back home where I came from. Wait. Is that just floating clothes? Oh, that is creepy. I hate when images look like that. Ugh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Holy crap. It's like he didn't want me to turn around. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking scary, dude. This kind of game makes you feel uncomfortable. You know, like nothing's really happening, like no jump scares in your face. But it just makes you feel this weird feeling. You know how you watch like a really scary movie and you just feel weird after it ends? Like you don't feel comfortable? This is how the game is making me feel. Right now. Holy shit. Oh God. Please, 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 please. What am I supposed to do? Okay, it's over. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Holy shit. This game is freaking me out, dude. That's a huge bitch! Oh my god. Was that an alien? Bro. Dude was walking on three legs. What the? Wait, if he walked here, where the hell did he go? Bro, aliens, man. They really bought. Oh, more balls. Okay, let's focus. All right. Bro. Okay. I think that was my car. Oh, shit. Journalism, go! Go, 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 go! Oh, I'm coming! I'm coming! Holy shit, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! I'm coming. Okay, go, 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 go! Holy crap, that alien was huge! What? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Bro, put the flashlight away and go. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yup! Oh, yeah! Yeah, I'm getting abducted. Yeah, I'm not gonna be on They Are Here Part 2. Yeah, they are doing some things to me. I swear on my dad's titties, they're doing something to me. Alright, take me. Take me! Come on, I'm ready! Abduct me! You're gonna suck me up! Suck me up, yeah! Give it to me, I'm ready! I'm ready! <laughs> Bro, I was head level with that alien junk, dude. Next game of today's episode is called Slide in the Woods. I don't know how this is going to be scary because I ain't scared of no damn slide. What's it going to do? Let me ride it? Come on now. <laughs> stop. Stop playing with me. But yeah, we're on this playground that we've all seen in our lifetime one way or another. And we're going to slide down this thing. Oh. Okay, that's actually scary. I don't know the official word for it, but there is a fear of the unknown or something like that. Like when you go inside of like a slide, for example, and it's dark uh, down below and then you can't see where you're actually going. There's a fear for that. I want somebody to let me know what that's called in the comments and I'll leave a heart on it because I forgot the official term. Am I supposed to just slide down this bitch? Is that what I do? Whee! Yay! Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now it's gloomy. Wait, I slid down at one time and now it's gloomy? Okay, game. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, okay. So every time I ride this thing, the day progresses, I guess. I think. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, fuck! What? What was that? What was that sound? I didn't even say what was that sound. I said why was that sound? Give me that. Give me that complimentary horror game flashlight. I lost flashlight. Luckily, it's lost some battery left. Yeah. That's convenient, right? That's convenient. That's cute. But this is dark now. So this game got 30 times scarier. All right. Okay. All right. That looked like a dead body buried underneath the slide. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Holy shit. I look like I'm in Saint's butthole. Oh shit. Yo, why is this scary? What the heck? I don't like this! Hey! Come on everybody, come on! Yo! Stop, stop! And I'ma ride this thing one more time, alright? I'ma ride it, I'ma ride it good too! Let's go. Let's go. Whoa wee! Wee! Oh shoot. What is that? There's something on top of the slide. Hold on. I'm gonna figure it out. It is a piece of paper. It says, Small town tragedy. Small town in mourning as mass missing persons case continues to go on halt. Reports say both children and adults missing. A detective working on the case sheds light on the peculiarity, stating, It's as if they disappeared from thin air. He asks that if anyone has any info pertaining to the case or if anyone spots one of the victims to please contact law enforcement immediately. Okay. I will make sure I do that. Make sure I do that. Yeah. Alright. Heck. Oh god. I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm getting uncomfortable. Yeah, I I'm getting very, very uncomfortable. My hands are actually really sweaty right now. And nothing's even happening, so joke's on me, right? Alright, man bun. Let's do this. Let's do this, Jay's man bun. Do I just keep going down this thing? Or do I do something else? We. No. I feel like somebody's gonna run at me. Like somebody's what? Oh. Okay, I was getting scared. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Am I? Wee! Woof! 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 Oh shit! What was that? It's getting uh, it's getting thundery. Making it clap. Oh shit! Speaking of making it clap, somebody got clapped real hard. Oh! What is that? Bro! That legit looked like King Kong Dong, bro. What? what is that? Hey, I'm good off that. I'm good off that. Yeah, I'm good off that. Why would I want to go down the slide after seeing that? I mean, why would I even want to go on the slide after seeing this trail of blood? It's calling for me. It's saying, Jay, slide down me. Come in me. <laughs> Not in that way. You know what I mean? Come in, come inside me. Like slide in me. Like come through. It really do look like I'm going in. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Damn, calm down. What do we have? Some kind of slide theme park? Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, calm it down. Oh, crap. It's one of these things, huh? It's one of them ones. Crawl meter. Press and hold space while moving forward to crawl. Oh, I'm just doing the little scoot. Okay. Doing the little dog shit scoot. You know when they gotta take a fat shit and they scoot their butt on the ground? Okay. Guess we're just gonna do that. Just gonna do the little dog scoot. Fuck, I feel like somebody's gonna pop out of me. Everybody, just get ready. Just get ready. I'm ready. Man bun, you ready? Yes, Jay. I've been ready. I'm so happy to be back in the videos, too. Yes. <laughs> it's been a while. You know, I've been trying to keep my hair short, but I was like, you know what? I don't know what to do with my hair right now. Well, so we <laughs> That was my man bun that did that, not me. I don't we like that. A we like a like a grown man. I'm like, we. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. This is hilarious. What is happening? Bro, I gotta crawl this shit? Come on, man. What the hell? Where am I going? Bro. It's like one of those things where, like, you're crawling in a hole all the way to China or some shit. Come on. Get me out of here. Longest freaking slide ever. Thank you. What we got going on here? Oh, we got one of these complex slides. It's not even a slide, though. What the hell? Looking like chains. 
Okay, I can't even go there because video game barrier. This is ridiculous. I thought I was just gonna slide in the park. We move on to the next game. But I'm over here climbing some Egyptian pyramid looking thing. Like steps to heaven. I know I'm not making it to heaven. Cause one time I saw $20 on the ground. I picked that bitch up and I felt- Sorry. Sorry about that everybody. Did not know that guy was just gonna be rolling deep like that. What is this? What do you expect me to do with this shit? Blood on a thing, okay? Ah, spooky. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, what the? Hey, who turned off the lights? Press E to interact to remove chain. Okay. Is this somebody's heart? What does this have to do with the missing people? Did they have to do this too? But I guess they just weren't as good as me, huh? Cause I'm about that life. You did it? I'm about that life. I'm about your wife. Okay. We're gonna go and uh, open this thing. Sewer gang. Feed them. I'll feed them. I'll do it. Uh, I, my fatherly instincts are coming in. I'll feed them. Let's do it. What was that moaning? I wanna moan. Bro, moaning sounds fun. Let me moan. Can I go down here? Oh shit. Um. Well? Oh, there we go. Wait, what if somebody comes in here? Ooh, that's not the screams of passion. That's the screams of pain. Shit. Oh! Who the fuck are you? What? What the? Wait, are you coming in here? Nah, you too big for that shit. You too big for that shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Bro, my nipples are hard. Go, 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 go. What? What does that mean? Bro, I don't know what that means. I am so uncomfortable right now. Please go. Please go. Holy shit. Bro, what is that noise? Go! The fuck? God damn, it's a life or death situation. Just go! God damn! I hate this noise. Come on, just just get me out of here, please, God. Please, 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 please. please nothing pop out of me. I don't want to see that face. Stop screaming, stop screaming. I had nothing to do with that. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why am I so uncomfortable right now? Somebody's chasing me. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back, everybody. So don't worry. I'm not looking back, because my anxiety is to the roof right now. I promise you, I'm not looking back. I promise you. Hell no. Come on, slide through that thing. I would have been had a concussion, because I'm on the side. Holy shit. Ooh, I juked the system. You guys saw how I did that? I got like an extra boost. A little boosty boost. What is this? Bro, this thing never ends. Come on, come on. God, I hope I do not have to turn around because somebody's gonna be chasing me. Holy. Please, 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 please. No more crawling, please. I'm so tired. Just kill me already. Way to be honest. I feel like I'm just doing shit. I'm just doing that dumb shit. Let me go. Oh, thank you. Okay. Holy shit. Please don't. No. Oh. Oh. Please. I don't want to look. Yo, I don't even want to look. I'm keeping one eye open. I can't do this. Do I just never endingly go through the slide? Oh shit, why did I do that? What is happening? I'm j oh shit. Oh god. What? What the f Oh, we back in this bitch. 
Uh-oh. Uh. Slide? Oh, slide in the woods. Wow. That was, um... That was definitely that something that made me clinch the butt cheeks. So, I will say that. But yeah, like I said, slides ain't gonna do shit to me. One, two, one, two, that thing. Last game of today's episode is called Walking Home Alone. You are going through this forest, and my objective is to be safe. Don't remember why you're in the woods, and I don't remember what the rest of that thing said. But it says, follow the lit path home, because the lit path is lit! Not liking this lit path at all. Kind of want to take the dark path. Why does it sound like that? What is that noise? What in the world? Hey, why are the trees rustling and bustling so hard? What is this? Stop! I don't like this shit. The graphics are kind of cool, though. That's what I do like. That's that shit I do like. So we're just going to keep following this Liddy on my titty path. Because this path is indeed Liddy on my titties. Follow the lit fence. What? What the? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who just comes out with a chainsaw in the forest? What the hell? Yo! Hey, relax! What is this? Bro! Stop! Stop, bitch! You chainsaw wielding shit! Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Unlock the door with keypad code 9578 plus enter. Oh my dumbass, I'm not gonna remember that. 9578 plus enter. 9578 plus. Oh, fuck! 9578 plus enter. Uh, 95. What? How do I? Uh, 9578. Come on, come on. 78, enter. What? Oops, that was a credit card code! Door 535! 534! Go, 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 go! Come on! Oh god! I'm dead! Ah oh, shit! Fuck! <sighs> oh. I don't like it when things chase you in games. If you all have known me for a long time, if you all have been following like all these scary games that I've been playing, one of the things that creeps me out the most, that makes my anxiety just kick into another level, is being chased in a game. I don't like being chased at all. Even in real life. Like, I didn't like playing tag. Because once I got chased, I was like, ooh, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't like that thing. Like, I was laughing, but it was kind of like anxiety laughing. Where I'm just like, oh, please stop. Like, stop chasing me. This is ridiculous. This is actually making me feel uncomfortable. But yeah, I don't like being chased for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if I'll ever understand why. But I don't like it. So, we know that the first four digits of the code are faker than my dad's tits. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna punch that right away. And I think the other one was like five, three, four, one, something like that. And then the man's just gonna come out. Man's with a chainsaw is just gonna come out. Look, see, for no reason too. Like what did I ever do to him? I don't know. Maybe I just got back from bagging his wife. That's why he wants to get me. Is that right? Is that why? Yeah, it's cause I was with your wife, wasn't I? All right, so that's a, that's a logical reason for one to start a chainsaw at me. But other than that, I have no idea why. I didn't do anybody any harm. 9578 plus enter. Okay, let's do that. 9578 plus enter. 9578 enter. That's the wrong code. 5341. Give me some and let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You made it, but also died. Sorry about that. This is my first proof of concept game I wanted to create. Oh, come on. You can't do that to me. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you want more of this series, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.